Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share with you guys six hair care tips for the winter season. I live somewhere where it is extremely cold. We get snowstorms, it's windy, it's dry outside. So our hair here where I live is just more susceptible to damage because of these extreme temperatures. So I wanna share with you guys six things that I will be doing this season to maintain healthy hair and to keep moisture in my hair. So number one, you can't have healthy hair without a healthy scalp. So I will be doing coconut oil scalp massages. And the reason why I chose coconut oil is because I watch a lot of hair content and I see a lot of women use coconut oil in their hair for scalp massages. I used to use coconut oil in my hair and I would leave it in my hair. But what I learned is specifically from Indian women is that they use coconut oil in their hair, but they wash it out. Um, especially when they want to have, a, uh, when they are getting a blowout or straightening their hair, they will put the coconut oil in their hair, massage their scalp, maybe even do like a hot oil treatment with their coconut oil and then they leave it on overnight or for a few hours and then they wash it out. So I have the Spectrum coconut oil. This is the organic cold pressed unrefined coconut oil. I got this from my local health food store and I actually have done this a few times now. Before I straightened my hair, I did a coconut oil scalp massage. And I didn't just focus on my scalp, I also put the coconut oil throughout the strands of my hair. I let that sit in overnight and then the next morning um, or the next afternoon, I got my hair washed. So I noticed a big change in the way my hair looked. My hair was shiny and my scalp was not irritated or dry. I recommend coconut oil scalp massages. I know right now there's a lot of hair professionals saying don't put oil in your hair. And what I think they mean is don't put oil in your hair and just leave it in your hair. I don't really do that as much. Only if my hair is like old and my scalp is dry. But for the most part, the, the way I use oil is by putting the oil in my hair before I wash it so that, you know, the shampoo can be drying and it can strip your hair of all its oils and shine. So when you put this in your hair before you shampoo it, you are helping your hair to not become stripped from shampooing. So number two is hair mask, but adding a little bit extra to your hair mask. So I have an avocado here, which I love to eat. And I hear a lot of professionals say, don't put food in your hair. I'll say this, in other parts of the world, women, they, they live off the land. They grow their own food, they, so because they grow their own food, they use their food for multiple purposes. Sometimes they use food on their face. They might do avocado face mask, or they use the food on their hair. They may use avocado hair mask, because these foods have nutrients in them. They have oils in them. I like to look at women around the world and see what they're doing, and a lot of women around the world use food in their hair. They use eggs in their hair. They use um, oils in their hair. They use foods like avocados in their hair. As you all know, Cardi B, if you don't know, she has this hair mask that she makes, which is avocado, mayo, and egg. And I've always known about this. Even as a child, I knew to put mayonnaise and eggs in my hair. Um, but we would do it from time to time because the eggs have protein and the mayo has protein and hair professionals, they critique a lot of what women do at home. And I honestly feel like they do that because if you are doing your hair at home and you figured it all out, then you won't need them. They have a purpose, they're necessary, trust me. Hair professionals are necessary because my sister is a hairstylist and she straightened my hair and she blew my hair out and my hair looks better than when I do it myself. So I 
do think it's important to go to a hairstylist to get your hair cut, uh, get trims, and even blow dry your hair if you want sleek results. But when they tell us not to do things that women are doing and have done for centuries, women have always put food from the land in their hair. That's not abnormal for women to do. And I think the issue is that some women don't know how to shampoo their hair well, so they might put banana in their hair or avocado in their hair, and then they have little chunks and little bits stuck in their hair because they, do, they don't know how to shampoo their hair well. So that's the only thing I can say is be careful about putting food in your hair if you don't know how to get it out of your hair. And I think like with banana, it's better to do that one before you wash your hair. So also another recommendation when using food in your hair is to add this to a deep conditioner. So I love the TGIN Honey Miracle Mask. Um, and I would, what I would do is add an avocado in my mask so that it can just add in some extra nutrients. And the reason why avocados are good for your hair is because avoca avocados contain potassium, they contain magnesium, and they contain healthy fats which help to nourish your hair, to add shine, and to add um, to help smooth your hair out, hair out. I swear when I use avocado in my hair, my hair just transforms. My curls pop or my waves pop. I love using avocado and I love eating avocado because eating them also is important too. But we'll get into that later. So number three is protective styling with my real hair. I am not a big protective style person when it comes to added hair. I do wear braids from time to time, but even with braids, I think you have to be careful because you don't want a lot of tension around your hairline. Um, so I think you have to be careful with braids. You have to be careful with um, wearing wigs and weaves. And so, I have an Instagram page where it's dedicated to showing you all natural hairstyles. Um, I wear, I'm wearing a lot of protective styles when I'm wearing my hair natural. So look into my Instagram. I'll link it below. It's Camila's Coils. It's K-A-M-I-L-A-H-S-K-O-I-L-S. And on that, on my Instagram page, I'm going to show you guys natural hairstyles that don't involve adding hair to your hair because I think we've gotten to a point where a lot of people think protective style is synonymous with hair extensions or hair weaves, wigs, and braids. And it's not. Those are all forms of protective styles, but you can also protect the style with your real hair. You can wear buns, mini twists, flat twists. You can wear two braids, four braids, high buns. So like protective styling is not just done with added hair. And the great thing about wearing protective styles with your real hair is that you get to nurture your hair. So protective styling with your real hair, it gives you a chance to nurture your hair. It gives you a chance to add in product to the ends of your hair. I have to protective style with my real hair because my scalp is sensitive and I have seborrheic dermatitis so it's not good for me to wear braids um, for extended periods of time my scalp needs to breathe so yes guys follow me on Instagram and my hair page to see more of the protective styles that I come up with during this winter season my number four winter hair care tip is to trim your hair every three to three and a half months so I know this is controversial because a lot of hairstylists will say trim your hair every six to eight weeks. And I think that is good for people who wear their hair straight often or people who color their hair. For me, I don't color my hair and I don't straighten my hair often. So every three to three and a half months works best for me. So that's every 12 to 14 weeks, I'll get my hair trimmed. That works best for me because I only straighten my hair, what, four times a year, so I don't really need to get my hair trimmed every six to eight weeks because of my, because of how I typically wear my hair. Number five, so like I said, I don't straighten my hair often, 
So that means I'm wearing my hair natural majority of the time. And something that has been really working for me lately um, to keep my hair, hair feeling soft and moisturized is a product that is like hair grease, but it's not hair grease. So my number five tip for winter hair care is to layer on your products. And you know, there's all of these methods, the LCO method, the LOC method. My method is cream, heavier cream, pomade. So what I have here are Carol's Daughter products. I have the Goddess Strength, Divine Strength Leave-In Cream. And then I have the Carol's Daughter Marguerite's Magic. This is the Restorative Hairdress Cream. This is for dry, brittle, and textured hair. It says it deeply nourishes, restores strength, and improves manageability. And then I have the Carol's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey. And this is a shine pomade for dry, brittle, and textured hair. So when my hair is wet after I wash it, I don't spritz it with a liquid. I just put this leave-in on and then I put on this hair cream and then I put the pomade in. And what the pomade is, is it's like hair grease. I know, you know, with the natural hair movement, women stop using hair grease and that's fine. You know, you don't have to use hair grease. Not every black woman even needs hair grease. But my hair is very dry. Pretty sure I have low porosity hair. So my hair loses moisture so fast. So I use those three products and those have really been helping during this fall season. I put that on my hair every few days. During this winter season, during this fall season, layer on the products. Make sure your hair is moisturized, that it doesn't get too dry. Um, you don't want your hair to be soaking wet every day. You don't even need it to be damp every day. But you want to make sure that it is getting some type of moisture. Just get to your ends and add in some extra cream or something just to make sure your you know your hair is not dry number six my last tip for you guys today is to check your diet check your diet because hair growth is from within and a healthy body will produce healthy hair i love to eat healthy it's just like ingrained in me now i've been eating healthy since probably I went to college and consistently just eating healthy, making sure I add in fruits, vegetables, I drink a lot of water. I'm gonna show you guys a few things that I eat for healthy hair. I already mentioned avocados. I love to eat these, they're really good. They're rich in magnesium, which prevents hair loss. And these are high in fat, so they're just overall good for your health good for your skin, good for your hair. Avocados are a good source of biotin. We all know biotin is good for us. And you know, you do not have to take biotin supplements because sometimes those supplements do more harm than good or they don't do anything at all. But you can actually eat your vitamins. Your body knows how to absorb the nutrients in the actual food better than it does in the supplement. I love to make avocado toast with these and what I do is I'll put on top of my avocado toast sprouts so sprouts I know not everybody eats these but I didn't used to eat these I just started eating them recently these are crispy clover and alfalfa sprouts I got these from Meyer. I believe sprouts are high in silica they contain vitamin C vitamin A and iron. Vitamin A helps with natural oils, producing those oils. So I like these. They add like a nice little crunch to the avocado toast. I'll put an egg on my avocado toast. We all know eggs are high in biotin and protein, so that's good for your hair as well. Also, I eat almonds. I love to snack on these. So some people soak their almonds for better absorption. I've never soaked my almonds, but also these are not these are not raw. These are dry roasted and they're lightly salt. Well, they are salted, but 50% less salt. 
So I usually like to get the roasted almonds with less salt. I got those from Trader Joe's. Almonds are good for you because they're rich in magnesium and they prevent hair loss. So I love to snack on those, about a handful of those a day. What else do I have here? I have sweet potatoes and sweet potatoes are high in vitamin A, um, beta carotene, and vitamin A again helps your scalp to produce natural oils. I drink a lot of water. Also blueberries. I love to have a blueberry shake, a banana blueberry shake with peanut butter and oatmeal. That one's good because blueberries are rich in antioxidants. Blueberries, they improve oxygenation and circulation of blood in the body, particularly the scalp. So blueberries are good for thick, healthy hair. And also, they have been proven to slow down the process of hair aging. So these are all the things that I try to do to help my hair during the winter. Winter is rough. So anything that I can do to nurture myself, nurture my body, take care of my health, I'm all for. I hope that these tips help you guys out. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.